is a special case, okay, when there's fluorine with oxygen. This is a rare case. Now, fluorine is more electronegative. Fluorine is the only one that is more electronegative than oxygen. So now, instead of oxygen gaining the electrons, fluorine will gain the electrons. Okay, so fluorine will gain electrons to become fluoride ion, which has a charge of 1 minus, which means the oxidation number of fluorine in difluorine oxide is minus 1. So what is the oxidation number of oxygen then? So we have to do the calculation again. Sum of oxidation number of all the elements will equals to 0 in a compound. Ionic or covalent, it doesn't matter. So try it yourself first. Now the answer you should get is the oxidation number of oxygen is plus 2. So 2 times minus 1 plus the oxidation number of oxygen must be equal to 0 because it is a compound. And so we work it out to be oxidation number of oxygen is plus 2. So notice here it is not minus 2. Oxygen takes the oxidation state of plus 2 in difluorine oxide. So this is a rare case. Whenever oxygen is paired with fluorine, fluorine is the more electronegative element here and so it will gain the electrons. Gain the electrons and the negative charge will be assigned to fluorine instead of oxygen. So oxygen will be positive. So generally, the oxidation number of fluorine is always minus 1 because it is the most electronegative element. No one else is going to assume the negative charge when combined with fluorine. Okay, now this is another thing you will learn. Oxidation number can only be determined when it is in a compound. Okay, if it is, that's why when it's in the free element state, it's zero. Okay, because if, for example, two chlorine atoms, their electronegativity is the same. None is more electropositive or more electronegative than the other. Okay, that is why we cannot assign any oxidation number. It's zero. Right. Don't worry if you didn't get that. That's some extra information. Now, generally, fluorine is always minus 1 because it is the most electronegative. And then we have oxygen, which is always minus 2, except when paired with fluorine. Now, there's another exception to minus 2 of oxygen, which is in peroxides. Okay, We're going to look at that now. So again, this is hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. So the sum of oxidation numbers of the elements must be equal to 0. So hydrogen is plus 1. So we have plus 1 here times 2 plus we have two atoms of oxygen here. So 2 times oxidation number of oxygen, the sum must be equal to 0. Now when, this, when we work this out, we will get that the oxidation number of oxygen here is minus 1 instead of minus 2. Okay, So in peroxides, it is minus 1. When paired with fluorine, fluorine is the one with minus 1. These are the two exceptions. Now, oxidation number of hydrogen is always plus 1. Okay, But there are some exceptions. Okay, So in, except for metal hydrides. Now, for metal hydrides, the metal compound is made, uh, metal hydride first of all is made from metal and hydrogen only. Metal hydride. Right? So the oxidation number of hydrogen in hydrides, metal hydrides, is minus 1. It will always be minus 1. Now let's look at an example. So for example, this is barium hydride. Okay? So keeping in mind that the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1 except for metal hydrides. So here we assign the first oxidation number to barium. Now try it yourself. Okay, so from here you will get that the oxidation number of barium we know is plus 2 because the charge of barium is 2 plus. And so when we add with 2 times oxidation number of hydrogen, the sum must equal to 0 because this is a compound. Okay, doesn't matter ionic or covalent. So, once you work this out, you will get that the oxidation number of hydrogen in barium hydride is minus 1. 
So that's the same in all hydrides. The oxidation number of hydrogen in metal hydrides will be minus 1. Every other scenario, it is plus 1. Okay, now another generalization. So these are all the rules. Okay, so for oxidation number of bromine, iodine and chlorine, it is usually minus 1. Okay, unless it is paired with a more electronegative element. So normally it is minus 1, but again there are exceptions. Okay, so let's look at this. So we have chlorine dioxide here. So in chlorine dioxide, between chlorine and oxygen, which is more electronegative? Oxygen is more electronegative. Okay. Oxygen is more electronegative than chlorine. And so, oxygen will be minus 2. So, keeping that in mind, try the question. Okay, so when we assign minus 2 to oxygen, we have 2 times minus 2 plus the oxidation number of chlorine and the sum must give us 0 because it is a compound. So, when we work this out, you will get that the oxidation number of chlorine is plus 4. So from minus 1 it became plus 4. Again it can be plus or minus. Okay, So you can take several different oxidation numbers. Now for metals, generally the oxidation number of metals are positive. Okay, So group 1 metals will always have plus 1 oxidation number. Group 2 metals will always have plus 2. However, as I mentioned just now, transition metals can have several different oxidation numbers. They can take on multiple oxidation numbers. Okay, let's look at that. Uh, manganese. So manganese is a transition metal. Okay, so in here, manganese dioxide here, or manganese 4 oxide. Okay, we'll get to why it's called that later. So here, try to find the oxidation number of manganese. So if you work it out, we'll have oxidation number of manganese plus 2 times oxidation number of oxygen, 2 times minus 2, must equals to 0. The sum in a compound must equals to 0. Then we work it out. The oxidation number of manganese here is plus 4. That is also why it's called manganese 4 oxide. I will cover that later huh? in IUPAC nomenclature. So now find the oxidation number of manganese in this compound, this uh, ion. Sorry. So as a polyatomic ion, the sum of oxidation number of all the elements in the formula must equals to the charge. So when we write that down, we will have oxidation number of manganese plus 4, because there's 4 oxygen here, 4 times minus 2 must give us minus 1. So when we do the working, we will find out that the oxidation number of manganese is plus 7. Okay, so here in this ion, this manganese takes an oxidation number, assumes an oxidation number of plus 7. Whereas for earlier, here, manganese 4 oxide, this compound, manganese, takes an oxidation number of plus 4. So manganese can have several different oxidation states. Okay, now try this one. This is a different uh, ion. Okay, so here, the sum must equals to minus 2, 4 times minus 2, oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2, plus the oxidation number of manganese, the sum must give us minus 2. So when we work it out, we will find that the oxidation number of manganese is plus 6. Okay, I hope you are familiar with how to do the working by now.